Sup everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an update. My friend Walter um, Green Ink on who's been commenting and subscribed and such an incredible supportive fan. Uh, really from the beginning, he contacted me. He texted me. He was like, "Man, what's going on? Like, um, you know, there haven't been any updates on the blogs or any updates on the channel." And he's like, "Is everything cool?" And um, <coughs> excuse me, I forget that people like really pay attention to that and like really watch that and are like, "Hey, what's going on, Pablo?" So I wanted to make sure that I did an update, kind of talk about everything where I'm at where I'm going, <laughs> how things have been. Everything's been blessed. Everything's been very blessed, but um, a lot of ups and downs. And I'm not gonna try and say it on some like, ooh, everything is amazing and life is wonderful. It is, life is always wonderful. But I'm, I just aim to speak it as real, as real as I possibly can. Um, as real as I allow myself to. And this is why I love Speak Real, by the way. This is what I want to set up for people. It's a space for people to speak without being judged, without being condemned, where you can be fully heard and listened to, and where people don't try and chime in and give advice or try and fix whatever you're saying. Because a lot of times, I just want to speak. Like, I just want to be able to speak and be heard and know that whatever I say is okay to say, you know? Um, so... In terms of everything, I'm living at home right now. I got back, I went to Seattle, I went to Vancouver, I went to Los Angeles, and um, it's all been so amazing and so transformative, and I've been growing, growing, growing so, so, so much. And uh, when I was in Los Angeles at Kyle C's event, I had a big transformational shift there. And Calego Society is incredible. It's, it's um, so for people that are in Long Beach, it's at Sacred Roots. It's a space for you to, um, not only is the spacing incredible, <coughs> excuse me, not only is Kylie and all the massage therapists and all the healers there incredible, but they have something on Sunday nights called um, Calego Society where we all get together and essentially we lift each other up and we do these exercises. Definitely you should check it out. But um, when I was in Long Beach and being at Kyle Cease's event, being at Calego Society, hanging out with my friend Ray and seeing what he's doing at Beach High School and the incredibly exciting projects that he's doing and he's fully following his purpose and his passion. I'm like, yo, I'm supposed to be here right now. I'm supposed to be settled and I'm supposed to be grounded and I'm supposed to, um, not, not that I'm supposed to and want to. I do want to be settled. I do want to be grounded. I, I don't want to like have to couch surf so much anymore. I want my own place again. I want to have a regular yoga routine. I want to um, be within a community of people that are positive and that help to uplift me and I can uplift them and I can just bring good to the world and bring goodness and bring love and that's what I want to do. So I'm moving to Long Beach. And um, it, was, it was an easy uh, decision for me initially um, to be like, yeah, I'm going to Long Beach. Came back from Los Angeles. I've been in town for maybe, today is March 1st. I've been in town since Wednesday or so. And um, it's not it's not an easy decision. It, it is an easy decision, and it's not. It feels right for me. I know I'm supposed to be in Long Beach, but at the same time, um, I do feel some guilt going down there. Um, people around me are, are kind of asking me to stay in San Francisco um, to help out, to get stable, to get a job, provide, and. Um, it's just tough for me to be at home. It's really, it is really hard for me to be at home. And um, I, I could try and explain it. But I, I think the main thing of it is that I feel really small here. And it's not anyone's fault. I completely do it to myself. But it's, I know there's something so much bigger for me outside of this house and outside of the city. And I really feel like Long Beach is the next step in my evolution. And there's some, people that are so important to me um, here in the Bay Area, you know, and so it's not easy to leave that too, um, but Long Beach is where I got to be for my evolution, and that's the biggest way that I could give, that's the biggest way I could provide to my family, that's the biggest way I could give 
to my friends and to everyone around me is for me to evolve instead of for me to be scared and small here. <laughs> yeah, um, so <laughs> that's, that's an update on the series. So the series is gonna start to look different. I'm not gonna be traveling so much anymore. Really wanna get on my feet, um, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like nodding to myself. Yeah, that's right, Pablo, yeah. Um, I wanna say thank you to a lot of people. I wanna say thank you to Ray. Thank you so much, Ray, and Grigo. Thank you so much for hosting me at your at your house in Long Beach. Ray, dude, you're a brother to me. You're, you mean so, so much to me, man. I'm so thankful I got to spend that time with you and that I'll be able to spend more time with you once I move down to Long Beach. Grigo, man, dude, you're freaking awesome. Even though I only got to see you for like a few days, like I'm really looking forward to seeing you more and I, I really appreciate you letting me stay at your place. Um, who else? I want to say thank you to Kyle Cease, to the whole event, to everyone that I met at the event. Taeon is incredible. You're my brother. I super appreciate you. Um, <coughs> Calego Society, Heather Smith, um, you know, Chris Taylor, um, uh, uh, Kylie, James. I'm not remembering all the names right now. But every single, oh, Carrie and Dan, of course. Oh my God, you guys have helped me out so much. Dan, thank you for, for helping me to, to volunteer at Kyle's event on March 21st and 22nd. I'm so appreciative of that, man. It's really, really cool of you. Um, and, and you guys, Carrie and Dan, you've helped me so much with just helping me to accept where I'm at, loving where I'm at, you know, and kind of releasing myself of like this, like, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. And just putting so much stress and pressure on myself. So I, I appreciate you guys a lot for that. Um, who else? I'm not gonna remember everybody. There's so many people to thank. I want to say thank you to Walter. Walter, dude, you're freaking awesome. Um, yeah, thank you for reaching out to me. Seriously, seriously, thank you for reaching out to me. Um, really happy for you. Really happy for the decisions you've made and the lessons you've learned. Um, what else? Uh, and it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault and it's not personal to you, so it's all good. Um, uh, who else? Seed the Poet. I want to say thank you to Seed the Poet big time um, for being a really good friend, really good supporter and support system. And um, I'm really excited for you. I know that you are, you're stepping into your power. You are transforming, you're healing yourself, and that's exactly what you need. So see, thanks a lot. Um, what else, what else, what else, who else? Who else? Uh, I can't really think of who else. Oh, I mean, of course, my mom and my dad and my sisters and my family and everyone, all of my family members are just being very supportive of me and um, helping me, you know? Like, it's, I, I wouldn't be able to, to do any of this without all of you, and, and I, I just want to say thank you. Um, so I guess that's about it. You know, it, it's cool. It's cool for me to be vulnerable on camera again. Um, so much of it has been me letting other people be vulnerable, but I recognize I need to be vulnerable as well. And I need to show you too, like, hey, this is what being vulnerable looks like. Um, so I think the next stage is um, getting some money together. <coughs> getting some money together to move to Long Beach. That's kind of scary. Um, but just moving with it, knowing that that's where I need to be and, and that I'm always provided for, I'm always supported by God and by the universe, um, no matter whether I'm taking a leap of faith or not. And this is definitely a leap of faith, so that's that's really good. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I really, I really appreciate everything. So thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm like coughing. <laughs> Excuse me. Speak real, be honest, be true. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I love you. You're awesome. Thank you. Oh yeah, um, and, and, and if you feel inspired to, you can you can give a donation. It would help. It help a lot. <laughs> this whole process has been so messy, and um, it it would just help me to get on my feet, you know, and to continue to do the series. Blah, 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 continue to do the series. So if you feel inspired to, you definitely can. I have instructions in the video description um, for doing that. So yeah, thanks again. Thank you. Speak real. Be honest. Be true. I love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you.